everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints. Welcome back. Today we are going to be making these 3D Christmas box ornaments. They're in like a hexagon shape and they've got these fun little kind of pop-ups inside. And then they've got these little sentiments on the back. And these are really fun and easy to make. Um, they come in four different colors. So we've got red, gold, blue, and green. And you can print as many of these as you want. If you want two or three green ones or you want them all to be gold or whatever, you can do whatever you want. You can mix and match all the pieces. Um, the kit comes with some fussy cut images. Those are the ones that will go inside your box. And then it also comes with some background images. And these will be the ones behind your fussy cut. And they come in some different colors and styles. And then it also includes sentiments and these sentiments are the ones that will go on the back of your box just like that and then these little banners are meant to go on the front just like this so we're going to go ahead and cut some of these out and get started i'll show you how to put them together okay so to begin we're going to cut out our pieces and i've got our box top and our box bottom here and you can tell this is the top because you're going to cut and remove the center and that's where our image will go and then we've also got um, all the other little pieces that are gonna go with it. And I printed everything on cardstock. And you're gonna need a blade knife. Um, you could cut this on a cutting machine like Cricut, but just be aware if you resize it at all, you're gonna need to resize it proportionately so that things will fit together correctly. So I've got a blade knife, and then I'm also gonna be using some uh, dimensional tape, some puff tape or whatever you wanna call it, uh, mounting tape. And that's going to be just for the banners that are on the front here. You do not have to use it, but I'm going to. So let's get started cutting this out. So to begin with, I cut all around the edges and we've got these little tabs and things that we're gonna be folding. And then I also need to cut and remove this hexagon. So I've got this um, mat, this is a self-healing mat for cutting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. You might wanna use a ruler so that you can get it straight, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to freehand it here. And we're going to just pop that out of there. And then you'll also notice at the top of each box piece is this little white strip. And we're going to go ahead and just cut that with our blade knife. make sure that we got cut all the way through because once we assemble this we won't want to try to cut that again all right okay and then the next thing we're going to do is just fold on all of the lines and again you may want to score this if you're really particular um if you can just kind of keep it straight and do it without scoring that's fine too And then we're going to fold these little tab pieces. Okay, and then we'll repeat that for the top part of the box too. Okay, and then once we've got it all folded, we're gonna kind of open it back up again and we're gonna apply our glue. Now, uh, to save time for drying, instead of glue, I'm gonna be using this Easy Runner tape. That way I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> oh, and before I assemble this, I should probably say we need to attach some things. It'll be easier to do when it's not dimensional. So again, find the top by locating that white strip. That's the top of your box. And you can choose the sentiment that you want on the back. It can be any color, whatever one you like. You could print the same one over and over again if you just want one, it's up to you. And it just fits right inside there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble. So you want to apply glue or tape, whatever you're using, to these little tabs right here. It's not 
very much space to work with, but hopefully I don't get tape everywhere. And then you're gonna fold this tab backward and you're going to fold the next piece, the adjoining piece on top of it. And that's how we're gonna create our box. And you can see the tabs tucked inside. Same thing on this side, tuck the tab in and then just align everything right on this line here. So that fold line right there, that's where you're gonna align this piece. Pull it over and align it. So tuck your tab and align. And then just go round and round till all the tabs are tucked. And that will give you your box shape. There we go, so that's our bottom. And then we'll do the same thing with our top. So we've got our top and our bottom. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our background piece. And like I said, there's lots of different background pieces. You can pick whichever one works best for you. And again, just check where that white line is. That'll be the top of your box. And then you can put your background piece in. And it may or may not have a direction to it. I think most of them do though. So just check that it's not like upside down. I don't think it will matter, matter too much with this one. The next thing we'll do is locate this 3D strip. And this is just a really simple thing. We're gonna fold it on each of these lines, just like this. And it's gonna make a kind of square. And this is how we're gonna attach our little fussy cut people or little images inside our box. So just add a little glue or tape or whatever you're using to this smaller tab and tuck it behind this piece here. And it should create a square. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue or tape, whatever you're using, to this side. And then we're gonna flip it over and add it to the opposite side. And this just goes right in the center. And you, before you attach it, you can always um, put this together. And then you can kind of look to see where the center is and where you want your little guy to be. And just kind of eyeball it. And you can kind of tuck down inside a little bit if he's kind of too big for the frame. There we go. And I'm gonna make sure he's good and stuck. And then you can also kind of smash him down a little bit if he's poking out too much and you want him a little bit further like sunk underneath. And then the next thing we wanna locate is this little topper tab. And yours should have a little white circle on this part. Um, this was an earlier design, so I don't have that little white circle. But what we wanna do is I've cut it off the bottom and top here and I'm just gonna fold it in half and cut the rest of it out. And I am not the most precise cutter by hand, but I'll do my best here. And if you wanted, you could ink the edges and that might hide some of that white a little bit. That's up to you. But um, what we're gonna do is glue together just the circles, not the strips. So just glue the circle together. This. You can see I've gotten off just a little bit. And then these strips we're going to fold up just like this. You can see it's kind of like a little, looks like a little game piece or something. <laughs> and that's going to be our top where we hang our ornament. So once you've got that done, Go ahead and apply a little bit of glue to the top of the strips where the gold part is.
And then what we wanna do is tuck it up inside this part of our box where that white strip is at the top. So just tuck the circle through there. So it's poking up through the top. And then we applied that glue to the strips so they should stick to the top and you've got your little topper right here. And then we're going to go ahead and do that again through this one right here. And it can be a little tricky. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself a little bit of room. And then we're gonna kind of pull that through and get our box assembled. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our little tab topper. And you know, before I attached it here, I probably should have punched the hole through it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna add is our banner sentiment. And again, there's a whole bunch of these that come with the kit and you can kind of choose your favorite one. And this is where I'm gonna be using that mounting tape. And it just takes a little bit, but it'll give it just a little dimension and make it kind of pop off for you. You can stick it wherever you want, wherever makes sense the most for you. I like it kind of at the bottom. I think that works well. Okay. And there we go. We've got our cool little ornaments for our tree. I got our little pop-up inside and our little sentiments on the back, just like that. Okay, and there's lots to choose from, so you can make a whole bunch of these different from each other and give them as gifts. They're just kind of fun and cool. Hang them on your tree or hang them wherever. So thank you guys for watching, and remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more fun things like this. We sometimes have freebies and other fun projects for junk journals and things, so please subscribe and like, and let us know down below if you think you're going to make these. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!